Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, Siwariso, here in Farming Simulator 19. Uh, Dolores is just quickly down here at the Silage King's fertilizer plant, loading up with a load of fertilizer that she has produced with her contributions to the factory. Um, and we're going to take it <laughs> and we're going to dump it in the um, the global market building. I've done a few deliveries, so there's quite a bit of fertilizer in here now. And then we're going to head up and we're going to start doing the uh, move, doing the hay pellets that I've uh, that I collected in the last episode of the series, taking it up and um, start uh, palletizing it. Um, I think is the expression they use. Um, now, on a gaming point of view, um, one point eight nine million. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Dolores has got super rich. Right. Now, on a game point of view, I was a little bit surprised this morning when, I, when I've when i opened up Steam and gone to start playing the game that there's been another update for the game. Giants have released another update to fix issues with um, some of their DLC packs. The Homer DLC, the Borjo DLC, and... What's the other one? There's an, uh, the Class DLC. They've released a couple of updates for that sort of stuff. Right, I'm going to park my truck somewhere up here. So, yeah. We had patch 1.6 come out, obviously, the other week before the Cavernland DLC. We've now had a little fix come out today to do with um, fixing some issues that have been long-standing in the... Um, Uh, long-standing in the um, DLCs now obviously if you don't own the DLCs I don't know if the um, update affects you or not but it definitely affected me so I've had to install that I don't know if that's gonna have any impact on mods that I'm using or Anything, I can't comment. Anyway, we're getting the pellets loaded up into the machine. A lovely, lovely machine. Took me a while to get used to it, I must admit. I ended up having to rebind a lot of the controls on my controller. <laughs> um because of the issues I have with the right button on my controller. So. Just literally come in here, we scoop up the pallets, scoop up the pellets. Nearly 2,000 at a time, which is nice. I come over to the machine. I've played around with this on, obviously, on the multiplayer server. Me and Mr. Helgi have used this quite a bit on the latest server, the Fenton Forest server. It's quite nice to do the pellets complete change of pace from everything else in the game a bit slower unfortunately with the last update to the straw harvest add-on um, the prices for the pellets aren't as good anymore the prices for the pallets and the pellets are not as good as they used to be 
They have been nerfed rather heavily. It's a shame. Because obviously this is quite time consuming to load these up. Um, Also, I'm noticing that trying to operate this without the disable camera collision mod is a lot, lot harder. Because it keeps zooming in and out by itself. <laughs> I think on the multiplayer server, we must have that mod installed. But I tend to, I've tended to remove it from my single player's saves. Because I never liked how it didn't zoom in for me when I drove into a building or into a shed. It made it difficult to see where you were. But obviously I got a lot of hay pellets off of this field. I got 60,000 litres and I didn't do the whole of field 16. I didn't. There we go, look, first pallet has been produced. That'll go down to the end, get shrink wrapped. It's just a shame that this only holds three pallets. I would have liked to have seen um, like a, a hatch in the wall here that you could open and close. And on the outside have a like a like another conveyor belt that you could fold and unfold. So you could actually have the pallets then be fed outside the building you could have more of them which would have been great for those people who use your um, trailers or auto load trailers and stuff because getting trailers and stuff in here is a bit difficult right what i need though to load my trailer i need a tractor that's the one i want because this one has the front loader on it Or has the ability to have a front loader on it. As Loris is going to take this one up to the lovely, lovely, um, take it to the farm, grab the front loader attachment. Uh, probably not going to need the bucket. Although, to be fair, loading the. Um, Sometimes loading the, I mean, when the, the straw harvest, because of the issues I had with my controller, when the straw harvest add-on DLC first come out, I literally could not use the crane until I rebound, rebound all my buttons. So I was loading that little hopper thing in the, um, the pa uh, pellet hall, um, pellet building. I was loading that with a front loader or a telehandler. Mr. Helgi kept laughing at me on the server because I was using that to fill it. But I literally could not get on with the crane. Could not get on with it because of the button on my controller being so bad. But once I've rebound the keys, moved them off the right button, and I've put them on the, um, I've put the, um, the, like the, 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 the shift control, if you like, for the, the, the crane. I've put them on the left trigger and right triggers, basically the accelerator and brake buttons on the controller. And then I've put a lot of the controls on the D-pad because I find the D-pad's a little bit better and a little bit more precise for, you know, left, right, up, down movements than the analog stick. Trying to operate the control with the analog stick, it tends to move like in angles. <laughs> Whereas when you just want straight up 90 degree movements, the, um, the uh, analog stick is a lot better. Uh, the D-pad, should I say, is a lot better than that. So, let me have a think. Where did I park? Where did I park my... Um... Where did I park my front loader? I think it's down here, isn't it, somewhere? is let's have a here look next to this corner uh i'm not going to take the weight because a i don't think i really need it i 
drop that off there like that. I'm going to nip to the store. I'm going to get another big bag, big bag handler. One of the bag handler things. I'm not going for um, pallet forks because they are just glitchy as heck in this game. So I'll get another big bag handler, which I can then always, I can always leave that up at the, um, up at the farm. Up at the pellet factory anyway, should I say, not the farm. For um, doing my pellets. Also, having this tractor is good because once once the trailer is full of um, pallets, I can take the pallets away and sell them. Also, that pallet of molasses, which I'll need to take down to the bottom of the field. The shop is still open. Very nice. Loader attachments. Big bag handler. There we go. One of them, please. Thank you. Thank you. Back into the tractor for Dolores. Oh, crap. Uh, I've got an adapter. Realise that. Mm. I'm gonna have to come back because I'm gonna have to put that. I need to put that on that bucket thing. Um. Don't let me forget it's there, people. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't be able to use the bucket because I need. The, I need that adapter, that translator thing. US mill Hopefully this fits. I didn't check this, did I? Oh, tell you what. That's mighty, mighty close. Right. So, three pallets. That's what we've got. Three pallets of pellets. I'm just going to take a nice screenshot. Screenshot, but the video thumbnail. Right, need to get them moved. Getting out of here might be a problem. <laughs> I didn't envision. Originally.
Right, loading this up. There we go. There's two pallets. wall out <laughs> done that once before in real life actually <laughs> I was newly qualified what can I say machine will start making more pellets for me more pallets and then what the secret is once you've got the pallets like loaded on like that what you want to do is just come up hook up to the trailer with your other trap other machine like so Make sure we've got um raw harvest pallets, I think it should be. Pink. There we go. So now they're locked on properly. Pallet over here. So I literally just come in. Make my pallets. It's great. Like I said, you get a little, you get a little rhythm going. Before long, you'll have made all the pallets. However, you, what you have to do, you have to keep remembering to come in here. Uh, go into the crane, obviously, because that machine's going to need to keep being filled. It does give you, you, you do get an information box pop up that tells you how long, um, how much fill you've got and how long it'll last for. It also gives you an interesting little statistic on how many bags you've made. Yeah, this is a nice little it's kind of like a nice little quiet change of pace in the game to do something like this you know when you haven't got a lot to do while you're waiting for your crops to grow this is an ideal job to keep you busy just keep you active I know some people would sooner just fast forward time and get onto the field work but Sometimes I quite enjoy just doing stuff like this in game. That's why I quite like the factories, doing taking stuff to the factories and moving materials from one building to another. I like all that sort of stuff. I know there's some people that absolutely hate it. They don't like doing the administrative stuff as I call it. It's it's a different bit of gameplay, you know? It's kind of like how I say, I don't like doing logging. I don't like doing wood cutting in the game. There are lots of people who do enjoy that and love to spend hours chopping down trees and stuff. Everybody has their own different way of playing the game. There is no right and wrong way to play the game. Um, it's finding what you enjoy doing. And that's a great thing about Farming Simulator. It gives you lots of different ways that you can play and different things that you can do that you may enjoy you know get enjoyment from and that's all that matters at the end of the day uh, 
there are some people that will just go absolutely crazy on this. You know? They'll be doing pallets and pellets forever. They'll be doing straw. They'll be doing um, hay. We're doing the lot. This action cannot be performed here. That's because the machine's full at the minute. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you come over here, look, it tells you in the help window. Today's output until now, 225 bags, five pallets. The supply will last for 11 minutes and 12 seconds. The fill level for hay pellets is 2,587, 51%. Love to increase that a bit more. There we go. Loading up. Increase the um, storage capacity on that so this em can empty a lot faster. And then if you want, because once you get in the rhythm of shifting stuff backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, it's really not that, you know, difficult. You get into a, a good rhythm and then it's easy. You, you can fill things. Problem is, this thing here, this thing in the corner, this thing doesn't hold a lot. So then this thing gets full quite quickly. And then you kind of sat waiting for it. <laughs> That's what breaks your rhythm. You know, you could get you could get one of the pits emptied very, very quickly. If you was able just to keep keep shoveling, sort of thing. But unfortunately it doesn't let you do that. Here's what we'll do. We'll take that one. Quite a bit of a mahoney, as they say in the trade. We want to have a look at what what's going on on some of the other fields, really. Let's do that. Let's have a look. Right, what's going on? Because we haven't looked at the map. I've not been worried about contracts, uh, fruit types. See, field six is an option. For me, field six has potential. Now showing as harvested. Okay, so did somebody harvest that field? Quite possibly. Somebody harvested field six. You know what? I'm going to buy it though. I've got the money now. It has been harvested. Um. on it was it potato it was potatoes so how come it doesn't need to be um oh, i need to have a bit of a tr i need to sorry i need to go over there and have a look my head's i can't my brain's not working properly at the minute um i would have thought after having potatoes on the field that field would have wanted um plowing and stuff apparently it doesn't okay know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get uh, my other tractor, wherever it is. Remember where I've flipping parked everything. I've had stuff all over the place just lately, the last few days. And I'm having issues remembering where I keep leaving stuff. <laughs> uh, we had the shoot maker, didn't we? We did the loading wagoning stuff. Tractor. Ah, he's over here, look. He's over here. Shed. I'm going to say grab this guy. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick planting of oilseed radish. Oh yeah, field six, oilseed radish, kids. It's the future. Also, I've got an updated version of the guidance steering mod. I think I mentioned that in the last video. And there's some people are like, well, what's different about it? What's changed? What makes it any different from the version that you had be the version that's on the mod hub? Well, honestly, not a lot that you would probably notice, I would think. If I was to select, say, that course there, go back to there, go auto width undo the offset right now my machine is set to do work the field in that direction you think to yourself well actually if I wanted to work the field in the direction the tractor's going I need to change the course which previously would have had you going into the menu again and going to this script clicking on there clicking on there going back there doing your whips again and all that back business you know bit of a faff about just to change your course now you can do it with a single button press <laughs> you can actually flip rotate the course via a single button which I've conveniently bound to the controller although I will admit I will admit straight away trying to find a key bind on my controller at this stage with all the mods that I use um, <laughs> that was free for me to put that button on my controller on, on, on the keyboard it's not a problem it's alt end alt end that will flip your um flip the course 90 degrees for you um which is nice i think you'll agree like i say on controller i've i've, I've got all the guidance steering buttons programmed on my controller I never touch the keyboard when I'm playing um, oh look there's a load of straw left here look Ooh, that must have been from a previous contract I did on the field many many moons ago where the baler wouldn't pick it up because it's not actually on the field very interesting but yeah basically I'm going to do this this field's a little bit awkward I'm going to be honest this field is probably one of the most awkward fields to work on the map because of these trees on this edge work if you're trying to work left to right it's very very awkward because the trees stop you from being able to turn around with your equipment Also, I think top to bottom is a bit awkward because I think those trees potentially are a little bit close for some of the, the bigger machines and some of the bigger cedars, plows, cultivators, etc. The tractors that want to turn around quite um, long distances. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top and bottom of the field. Uh, I'm also going to do the the side I'm going to do a quick run up each edge and so when I get to the bottom here I'm going to flip the course 90 degrees I'm then going to go up that edge I'm then going to come back down that edge over there and then basically I'm going to hand the job the rest of the job over to a worker let the worker finish off for this evening um We'll give it a whirl. Yeah, that's a little bit too far that way. Come on, 
play ball with me game play ball But yeah, I'll probably only get one. I'll literally probably only harvest this field once. <laughs> um, because obviously I, I'm looking at the episode numbers now. We are up in the 70s. 70-odd 70 episodes in this series. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this series. We're going to do the spring harvest of all the winter crops. Um, when they appear in a little while. We're then going to re-work those fields, get out get our autumn crops planted uh, once we've harvested those we'll sell everything we'll sell all the harvested stuff um, or we'll put it to use um, we'll look at our animal situation stuff get some of the animals sold off and that'll probably be a good point then to end the series I would have done three years on this map with Dolores starting from the beginning and building up to now um, we're at the stage now where it's pretty much rinse and repeat she's got good equipment uh, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff it literally would just then be a case of she's just you know turning soil making profit even more profit you know so i think at that point once i've done the 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 second harvest this year the winter harvest if you like the autumn winter harvest um that's probably when i will wrap this series up so however many episodes there is left i don't know um but after my not the coming harvest but the harvest after that is when this series will be wrapped up and at that point i'll be looking to decide what to do next so again if you've got any suggestions for maps that i should look at playing next in my next series drop them in the comment section below for me and i'll have a look at them and decide what i'm going to be playing on next for my next map my next let's play series here in farming simulator 19 because obviously we're not getting a new game this year giants have already said that we already know about that um we don't need to worry about what hit that button there worker is hired perfect well, he's going to get the look see there's there's a good example of another issue i'm having now if i zoom out and i just hold my controller completely away from me it's not going to do it now <laughs> every so often it will start it will start to just zoom in there it goes and then it stops and then if you wait a bit longer oh there it goes again look and then so not only now is does it seem like the right button on my controller is iffy <laughs> it looks like the um the tr right trigger is also getting iffy on my controller because it sends phantom signals Again, I've been noticing it in the multiplayer where suddenly, you know, when I'm trying to do cruise control and the cruise control just keeps disabling itself. To probably hook that trailer up or oh, load a couple of pallets Ooh, they loose 
ったんですね I mean, obviously, what I could do, I suppose, is leave it in work mode. I don't know if work, but I don't know if work mode gets disabled the minute I um, disconnect the um, truck tractor. Because otherwise, what I could do is leave the tractor in work mode, uh, the trailer in work mode, should I say, and then every time I come out here and just put pallets, just bring the pallets on, they'll get sucked on. Like the um, um, auto loader light trailer wood. But anyway, folks, we have reached that part of the day where sadly this episode must come to an end. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please, please, please click that like button. Please do it. It doesn't hurt you to press like on a video. It really doesn't. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. Same as subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you a single penny. You know, there's no reason not to subscribe to someone who's produced content that you watched and ho and enjoyed. Um leave your comments for me like i say i will be wrapping this map up fairly soon in a few weeks once we've done our next our winter harvest this year so again now's your chance to start throwing some map suggestions at me and recommendations for what i should look at next um so please do that in the comment section down below and also remember to share this video wherever you see fit with whomever you see fit. I've been C1 Eso. This has been the Lakeland Vale map by Stevie. Or the Lakeland Vale 1 map by Stevie. Now that Lakeland Vale 2 is out. Um, so thank you for watching everybody. I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now folks. <laughs>